are you doing, Frank? Uh, not much. Are you? Yeah, just sitting here hanging out. You know what this call is? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want a truck? You, you sure? I'm a thousand percent positive. <laughs> Awesome. Sure is my first born. I watched the show last night. Did you? Yeah. So did you mean to enter the giveaway or was you just buying a hat? No, I meant to enter it. Did I've you? I've seen that William been working on that truck, you know. Yeah. And uh, I had my grand, I didn't even know how to subscribe to your channel, you know. And I had him subscribe to the channel and buy me a hat to enter in that thing. Man, that's pretty I just cool. Got back from church, man. That's awesome, man. Yes, you didn't expect this phone call, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> did you just get that paper bill going? Yeah, we're, yeah, it's running. We're uh, trying to finish the frame up now. Did you get your bumper and stuff on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got tractor and stuff. And those, I've got a 150 Ford and a, a old square body time truck, you know. But I ain't never really pull much on a tractor on that time truck and I, I had uh was wanting a twenty five hundred but that thirty five hundred would be a lot better. Oh yeah, this thing here you can haul anything you want with it. It's uh yeah. my wife uh, my wife's tickled to death. <laughs> and that, I'm glad you want it. I'm glad to see it's gonna be staying pretty close too. Sure so appreciate it. Appreciate you. Uh, bye. bye. Seem pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Went, buy a hat and win a, a freaking truck. That's so cool. It seems like he's going to pull his tractor with it, stuff like that, what it sounds like. So, um, guys, there you go. That's how much more real it could get. I mean, that guy, I just, I'd say he's pretty mind blown right now. But let's get back to work. What's up guys welcome back to gentry and sons and welcome back to another video so it is crunch time we are hard at it we've got two days to be at the truck show and we wasn't going to do all this to the rooster we were really going to get the motor running get it running and driving drive it to the truck show let you guys see him and then bring him back up here and start working on the frame stuff like that but and me and me and rob we kind of Think a lot. We both woke up this morning and decided, you know what, let's just get this thing done. So that's what we're doing. We're getting ready to run the rack on it. And I'll show you what we got going on in the back. Woo -wee. So this motor's got two hours of run time on it now. So we're gonna go ahead and run the rack on it, make sure it's good to go. And we've got this, a good friend of mine's down here cleaning the trucks. What's going on, bro? What's up, brother? Did you get some good sleep last night? Yes, sir. Good deal. I think I finally got to bed at like two. Yeah, I went to bed about two o'clock myself. Man, you got this thing looking good. I'm getting there. You got it looking real good. Take them Rob, please. I can't believe you got them squirrels out of it. Dang, guys, this thing is so shiny. Right. He drove all the way down here to help us get ready for the truck show. And he does some pretty amazing work. You can go check him out on Facebook, Instagram. Here's his email or his phone number. And you guys are going to get to see what kind of work he does. 
He'll be at the truck show with us. He's going to get the trucks clean once we get there. Look at Braxton's truck, how shiny it is. Thing is shining. So, he's going to paint correct the, the 389. He's going to paint correct Rooster. And hopefully, we got some nice clean trucks when we get to the truck show. All right, let's go see what Rob's into. fifth wheel off of it, rust converter, all that stuff. For some reason, the back of that 379, it just likes to rust. It, every time we do it, it comes back within a few years. Today, we're gonna try something new. I've been doing this a lot longer now and learned a lot of new tricks. And I'm sure Rob's got something I can see. So, we're gonna try to save this frame. If not, Rooster's getting tricked and uh, getting a new frame. Hey, Mr. Smith. Yeah. What are you doing over here? I put this tube on, but it's a pretty tube. Yep. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna figure out how to use all this Whoa. fancy stuff. Oh, all right, Brax, pull her out. Let's see it. No Changing the headlights out or something? Cause they got melded. Yeah, they got melted. Looks like they've got a warp. I mean, literally melted our headlights. So, let's check that out. That's how hard it got, guys. Rainy's truck parts did it again, guys. All right, you got that one. You got one more. There it goes. It's not like we're going to use it anyways. Well, in 20 years, that headlight might be worth a fortune. Brackage might be, I don't know, it's pretty rough shape. That's actually not bad. We'll save them anyway. Get your bolts, Brax, you're losing your bolts. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering what the heck is going on, why we're just taking headlights off, because we, unless we're not going to drive it dark. But our friends up at Rainey's Truck Parts did it again. Let me just show you. So I love these headlights. You guys heard how I liked them on the 389. The same exact headlights that I got for Rooster is on the 389. These are super affordable. It ain't like calling and ordering a $3,000 set of headlights. These things are like under a thousand bucks and they come with everything. All your brackets, tools, mountain brackets, your wires, and even gloves to put them on with. Look, all screwdrivers, everything to install these things come. So you can buy them and put them on in the parking lot. Is that there? That's them. Golly, Bobby, look cool, pretty, Braxy. Whoa, those are shiny. Is it the same one that's in the 389? Same one. That's another thing, guys. They are interchangeable between a 389 and a 379. And they work great. They are bright. Very. That's 
It makes the three and I'm look comfortable. Yeah. I think it's going to look good on that maroon. Because yeah. I got the black. And you can get the black and chrome inserts. So we're going to pull our old ones off, stick these in place. But we're going to put a new connector on the end to do its connector on both sides. That way, just plug them in and go. They're pretty easy to wire in. All the wires even tell you left signal, right signal, brake light, tail light, reverse light. I think the last time I came, the headlights are You didn't even catch that, Brax. What? I said tail light, reverse light, right blinker, left blinker. There's some. Where if they're long enough? Because mm. with a 389. I had to get longer, but I think it's because of the bracket that mounts them. Yeah, I think that was the reason why. Yeah, they should be just fine with those bolts, Brax. You got a passenger and you got a driver. Woo, just a crow and light box is done. I like those inner clothes. Those are pretty sweet. That must crow in. That's got to be for rooster. <laughs> it is, guys. That's our new box for the back. It only means one thing. We must have some fenders coming. Rooster's getting a whole new update on lines. New engine, new drivetrain, new look. She might be junk to a lot of people we're just patching up, but I love my junk. I like them. I'll just put some plugs over here. Guys, it's been one heck of a long day. We got the old Red Peter bit ready to go to the semi-casual show. Man, that's a good looking ride going to the show. Rooster will be there one day. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck, Brax. You like it? Yeah. We'll get Rooster looking that good. Can he even drive that thing? That is a good looking ride when she's all lit up. Big limited. No. The down's already like half. Yeah. I'm cutting every hook, hook driven out of this thing and putting all bolts over it. Put bolts in place and then I didn't put W in it. I think I got no diesel leak. We'll find out. Yeah, we fixed that. We'll find out. Guys, this is not how our shop got burnt down, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> it scares me to be working inside a shop with an expensive truck. It just does. It scares me to leave this thing in the shop. Like, I'm still having PTSD. As long as it feels like something.
guys, this thing has got the best AC. It always did. This truck always had awesome air conditioning. blowing ice cold too. The new compressor, new condenser, really helping things. For some reason I couldn't get enough gas in it. It wants to, it was freezing up out there on the compressor. Alright, I gotta give him a look. Oh man. Larry, that looks awesome. Check this, guys. We completely redid the wiring on this truck. This is the way they fix them where they don't go burn the switches out. These 379s are really bad about burning the switches out behind the dash. Cab lights are all working, side lights are working. See, so I put the headlights in. Oh, they're all on. Got one out. These are all new lights, too. Woo! Show truck prep. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's not a show truck. Work and show truck. It's a working truck and we're gonna take the truck shows. Right. Really? Having a hard time there, bud? Yeah. He took the bolts out of the bracket. Now they're stuck in the bracket. I don't really want to take a shot there. Oh, there we go. Got it. How's it going over there? All right, AC check, lights check. Got to do the headlights now, and then rear box. AC works? AC works good, baby. Yeah, we'll put the paint on it for the rear box. Yeah, paint next thing. Something. We're gonna have to wire wheel it though. Well, yeah. Well, here's another one. Let's see the wire wheel through. Guys, it's only 2 a.m. On Thursday, we gotta leave here in 12 hours. Rocking and rolling. Red Bull is keeping us alive. Day 33 out in the wilderness, still no sign of water. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting her eat, baby. Ah, oh, she's come so far. Uh, almost there. These holes are Dude, I'm getting a low battery light on my eye body. Uh, my eye body's saying Your low. I'm at 10%. Yeah, I bet you're at 10%. The last 10%. Dude, we've been kicking butt for almost four weeks now. 1 a.m. I got up at what, 7 this morning? 7.30? Yep. yep. We haven't had a night where it hasn't been 1 a.m. Yeah. I had one over the weekend. That was it. Yeah, Bryce got to go home for the weekend. I got to go meet a celebrity. Oh, I didn't even hear how that went. Dude, it was awesome. Got a whole bunch of stuff signed. Was he cool? Oh, dude, he was cool as a cat. A lot of people said he's not, but dude, he was cool. Bryce is a big Dukes, Dukes of Hazard fan. Oh, totally. I got to meet Tom Wilpat, Luke Duke, on uh, Saturday. He was in uh, Pigeon Forge. He's getting old. He is. He's 72. 
Cooter's having a birthday at the end of the month. He's turned 82. That's crazy, so, dude. That's what I used to watch growing up. Oh, dude, me too. So we're, hope, hope, we're hoping to go to West Virginia for Virginia for that. I wish I could have met Burt Reynolds before he died, man. Oh, dude, he was an awesome, awesome boss hog, man. Yeah, dude, dude, I'm pretty I much, I'm pretty much Burt Reynolds. <laughs> so, I you need to gain a few pounds if you want to be there. Gonna make you squeal like a pig, boy. <laughs> September, Bo, Daisy, and Luke are all going to be together. And uh, Daisy, you still looking good as she used to? She's still looking good. Not quite as good as she used to. <laughs> she's still looking good for her age. Um, I can't tell yeah, you. Every, every, boy's, every boy's first crush. Yep, that was my Daisy first crush. I'd get up every crush. morning. I'd have to go feed the cows and water them and take care of the horses and all that. And I'd come in before I got ready to get on the bus because we had a two hour bus ride when I lived in Coker Creek. Oh, two hours, dude, to get to school. Because wow. we lived in Coker Creek and we had to go all the way down the mountain to the school. Jeez. And then uh, it was like three hours on going home. We got we didn't get home like six o'clock. Really? But uh, I'd get up every morning and watch a Dukes of Hazard episode. And when I got home, do all my chores. Do it again and grab a dirt bike. And We've got every episode of Dukes of Hazard. Me and my wife bought all the seasons. And I do too. Watched all of them. I got them all too. Dude. Oh. Making me want to watch it right now. Dude. Jessica said she was a better day to do. I'm going to be the first one to say it. Not when you were 13 years old. No. No, dude. That didn't come out until like yeah. way later. I don't even care, dude. I, I don't even care. I'm a 90 baby, so. Um, well, I'm a 2000 baby. That's, the, 2000 that's, your, baby? that's your problem. I'm a 90s baby. Oh, 98. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down. Hey, me and Rooster are twins. Yep. We're the same age. Rooster's class of 98, baby. Got that right. Best class to be. Got that those a motor, money. Those are motor. Man, you know what? We got to borrow us two brakes. <laughs> No, All right, uh, go get the brakes. You go get the brakes, I'll put them on. We're going home soon. We'll talk about it. You got to get at least two hours of sleep. I'm thinking I'm just going to crash in the seat out here. I'm probably going to the office. That's what I thought about doing, too. That's where I'm going. If you go home, then it takes forever to get up and get ready. And... We got a shower at the office. Yeah. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Guys, this frame ain't gonna be perfect, but it's gonna look pretty dang good. All right, guys, we got all the holes drilled. Larry just come in for the morning at four o'clock. I'm gonna go up here in the office, a couple hours nap, get in here in the morning and get this thing finished up. The peach ready to go and the rain's here. I don't know how we're gonna make it Especially these trucks getting cleaned up like they are. Golly, bum, that thing is shiny. Brax up here asleep on the couch. I'm gonna go join him for a minute. Get back up in a couple hours and get back at it. All right, we're back, baby. UPS is here. That can only mean one thing. Our visor has arrived. Finally, we have a visor, baby. Yeah. So we're back at work, guys. Hopefully. We're back at work to get this truck done. We want to be done today and on our way to Crossville. Then I want to go hook up that cattle wagon and take that Pete for a nice little, little trip. What do you think, Brax? You gonna go haul some cattle that sucker? Oh. That don't look like a visor. It better be a visor. It's big. It's long. He has a big one? It wasn't out there, it wasn't. It was. That's why I want to bet those wallets. How much you want to bet? I bet $10. Tell me the price. $10. Yeah. Shake on it. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. All right, let's go in here and do this thing. It is visor time. I'm plum excited about this. So we're ready to go on? 
ladders over there. Right. That's the drop. This star is going to burn down. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, man, it's... Oh, it looks pretty good in here. Does it? Oh, yeah. Definitely gonna make the truck. Then that, the bumper stacks, and the... Does this thing have bigger windows in this than that? Yeah. Oh, my God, that's rags. It looks so good. Can't wait to peel it off. All right, headlights and uh, finish the back frame. Oh, I gotta put them in. That's two coats of that uh, rust primer so far, and it looks a lot better. And guys, this will be getting pulled apart and redone. Uh, this is just for, to protect the frame and make it look good and keep from any more rust from happening until we get time. Why does this have to show up? What is it? We ordered it. I know, golly, but I'd have felt a lot better if it showed up after we left. You can try to get them on. Now. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> now you're off. That's it. Oh, guys, this is for the tag axle for the other truck. Yeah, it says Peterson Brothers on it. All right, I guess we're not doing fenders. Where's the rest of it? Yeah. You said uh, this is only skid for us? I mean, that's all I got on there for you. Yeah, it's one skid. Yeah, I mean, I don't... So those are the tag axle fenders. I just ordered them the other day for this truck. So it's got a tag and it's getting a set of the same exact fenders as uh, Rooster and the black truck's got on it. And we're, they're also coming from Leroy, but he doesn't do the he don't do the steerable tag. So we got them from Peterson Brothers, which he works with them. So we got us uh, get started on this thing. It'll be a beautiful truck. All right, we got the breather lights on, baby. So simple to install. Literally, that's all it took. Nice and neat. That'll go up. I got lights inside my breather, and that'll go up to that wire. Wire it up. And then down here, you just got two plugs. Nice and simple. And Rob just got them on? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're All right, you gotta go do the other side, Brax. Go help me, boy. Show them how to do it. Yeah. Show them how simple it is, Brax, for an 11-year-old to do it. Yeah. Okay. I like these. Oh, yeah, they're so... Guys, this is Larry's work here at SH Tube. He is a... There's... I've never seen anybody that wires as good as him. Takes his time, he does it right, makes it look all nice and neat. This is all done in house. Lights, these are built here at SH Tube, everything, put it all together. And then ran plugs out here to where all they gotta do is be hooked in. Instead of being hardwired. Alright, so these are sampled. Flip it over, Brax. Yeah. All you do is hook it on here. 
in here. Oh, no, you're right. You had it right. So, see these two right here? They just hook on and bind the washer. Yep, you got it. All right, hold it right there. All right, just like that. Now it's see, getting solid. Yeah. And I hook your locks up. Right, use the left harness. Got one for each side, front and back. Now hook that in. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Good job, Brax. Now we gotta do the other side and then. Keep that work out? I haven't turned them on. I'm sure they will, though. The freezer lights are on. They look pretty good, don't they? I like the thread. I think that looks good, Brax. Now you get your grill lights hooked up. Inside, guys, we are on the finish line. I still hadn't even test drove it yet. We got a few more things to do under the hood. I gotta hook the fan up, and then she's ready for a test drive. Rob decided he wanted to put a grill in it, so uh, there's gonna be a few. First time I've ever painted a condenser. Usually come already painted. Should be pretty though. Stuck out like a sore thumb on with it the other color. Rax is over there pulling the grills. Oh yeah. It's a lot better, don't it? Yeah, now it won't stick out like a sore thumb. Although if you had like gentle hand sign written on it. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Alright, there she is. She's painted. Pretty. Alright guys, water is coming out. Next thing I do, I gotta put a sensor in it for the fan. Nice model, good well over the mic. Oh man, nice. that's not a bad price either. I really like these. Well, Mac might be back from the office in a minute. I wanna talk to him about it. You got him in the truck? We should have. We're a good to Brack, are you ready to put cool in this thing and see if. Uh, Take it for a test drive here a little bit. Yeah. Rob says put cooling in it, get the frame done, and drive it to Tennessee. That's how confident he is, and I feel the same way. What about the grill? We're gonna put the grill. I feel the grill. Alright, I like that. 
Is that the fan sensor? Yep. Turn it off. That hose is going to be so close. Yep, it turns the fan on and off. So it reads it and then reads the temperature on. I got that one. I've got this one. So it might be this one. I bet you it's this one. Yeah. See, it does. It doesn't it. Probably when it keeps, it just sees a certain temperature. I don't know what that one's for. I'll put that one in and see if that one. My truck shines so much. <laughs> I had ready for the show. Dude, for some, some old paint, that's not too bad, is it? No, yes, sir. It's 20. No, we painted it four years ago, five years ago. I don't think I'm going to have to paint the whole truck. I think hood and. Definitely hood. <laughs> this looks awesome. I'm happy with it now. I was really stressed. I'm telling you, I was. I kind of thought that color was going to yeah. help it. I feel like I was all over there. We were white because we had it. Don't you scratch that paint up, Brock Smith. That's some very expensive paint there, Mr. Smith. Oh, God. Did I tell you how much that can was? No. Ross said I had to be very careful with it, and I was like, I'm not painting a mani cope with it. Gosh, show. <laughs> I just need a few sprays. <laughs> 200 bucks. Uh-uh, for that can? Yeah. <laughs> 375 dollars a pint. For a thousand dollar grill, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a scratch and dent special grill. Let me find out. No, I tried to give you a scratch and dent special this morning, and you was like, no, we gotta have the small oval. So, <laughs> you left the scratch and dent section. <laughs> That's them guys yesterday. Out of the press. <laughs> <laughs> them guys yesterday were like, "Can I get in the scratch and dent?" Uh, I want to go look in that pile. And I said, "No, I done raided that pile. There ain't nothing left for three seventy nine. <laughs> I got a brother takes care of all that. Smith <laughs> is the king of scratch and dent. <laughs> oh yeah. You'll see him. I'll be. I'll come in, and he'll be out there digging through the trailer. Yeah, digging every time. Every like I'm like. How many times you go through that trailer? And he's like, oh, a couple thousand times, probably. <laughs> I'm like, well, has anything changed? <laughs> well, I thought it touched, I thought it touched right there. I was very upset about it. This looks so good. And I'm pretty tired now. Pretty 
Yeah, see, I don't let you paint my truck as good as you've done on that. I mean, spraying clear coat ain't easy. Uh, I was sweating it almost. I had a big run in and I was like, oh God, I had a little meltdown. Bill didn't make it any better, you know. You know Bill. No, I can imagine how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already having a sheer meltdown and Bill's like, oh God, don't tell us that. I ain't been here no longer. <laughs> Don't let Rob see that. You better hide it. <laughs> I've got all kinds of stuff hit out back. <laughs> but I'll find it out. He, you know, he, he gets <laughs> on a mission. Yeah, he finds everything. Just yes. when you think stuff's in the safety spot. <laughs> Here I thought comes I was Rob clear. I, last night, we stayed like 5 a.m. I know ever. I was cranking in this damn blade. You know, I was here at 5 o'clock when I thought, oh, he's going to be yeah. so proud of this. Yeah. No. It's all drilled and all that. He could, First thing this morning, what in the hell are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he kills dreams. He's a dream killer. He can't kill a man. You, are a, dream, you are a dream killer. <laughs> I was so excited. I went to bed smiling. I was like, God, Rob's going to be proud of me. Yeah, I can't wait. He went to bed last night. reason why he's up 4 o'clock in the morning. He knows Rob's going to chew that ass. It looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah. Other than, I mean, you can still see a little bit of this, but we're going to be taking care of that when it gets back. Yeah, Rob's going to, Rob's going to pull it all down and re weld and sand everything, make it all nice and smooth. Every line right here? Mm-hmm. Even right there? Yeah. I'm going to run it for a while. I mean, it's fine. We just want to preserve it where it don't rust anymore. Could put one of those up it's there. Got a gigantic frame under it. Oh, she's not had a third axle. Well, if we stretch it, we're gonna do a third axle. We we'll just put this cabin sleeper on that red truck tag. Oh yeah. Brand new truck. It wouldn't be rooster then. Same motor. Old scratch and dent special over here. This is all scratch and dent special parts. See, it's got a scratch in it. What? <laughs> oh, Tim wants the scratch and dent stuff. <laughs> Tim wants the price of scratching this. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, that would work too. <laughs> Man, Rob, that looks so good. You nailed it on that roof. Yes, you nailed it, but she dropped it. Just my idea. All right, let's explain to everybody so they don't get upset with us. That we do like KWs. Rob has one right over there underneath the, the tarp. We're getting ready to run. <laughs> but we had to mess with the KW guys just a little bit. I'm have to knock that one on in a little bit. I'm probably have to knock that one on in a little, baby. Guys, we found some new fenders or some use new fenders in the trailer. So I had some fenders coming for it, but it's not gonna make it in time for the show. So we went and dug these out of the trailer. And then we went and dug some mud flaps out of Rob's stash over at his place in his garage. It's got the shift happens. Mud flap weights on it. Pretty nice little mud flaps anyways. But turned out really good for the time we had and what we got going on. So we got crunch time. We're going to make it to the show. I'm about hundred percent. We're going to make it, but we've still got a few hours left. Uh, go a little further. That right there looks good. Go a little bit more. 
there, right there. Perfect. Looks good. I like it. Uh, you just put them over there. Oh, it's going to get polished tomorrow to show. Uh, tomorrow will be the first day. We, we didn't get time to polish it. We got the grill in it. <laughs> the Kenworth guys, I don't know they're going to like it or not. But We love Kenworths here. Don't take this as uh, we're bashing Kenworths. We just thought this would be cool. So you got Rooster. <laughs> That's cool. New headlights are in, like I said, from Rainey's. They worked out real good. We had to take the rock guards off. So I got to do some work up here. But guys, we're going to the show. We're going a lot, a lot better than we thought we were going to. We didn't plan on doing the lights or the frame or any of that stuff. Like we had planned on putting a motor and transmission in it, getting it running. Somehow, some way, we were able to do all this extra work. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So come out to the semi-casual show. It'll be Friday and Saturday in Crossville at their new shop. The 389 will be there. Josh got it done, most of the way done. He's super particular. I mean, this guy's OCD. <laughs> I mean, this thing is, looks like you can just swim in the paint. Fenders look awesome. This thing's gonna look good at the show. So hope you guys get to come out and see it. You're gonna to have to come back for the next video to see Rooster go down the road, see it pull a load. We're gonna hook the RGN up and hook, load Braxton's truck up and take it with us. It is not done, but so this thing will be coming back after we get done with semi-casual. And this truck and Weston's truck are the next two on the chopping block to finish up. Guys, this project is not complete. I don't want nobody thinking we finished the project because we did not. This is just phase one of Rooster's transformation, and I feel like we knocked a big dent in it. But guys, I'm gonna finish this video off. I gotta get it edited, gotta get it out to you guys, and uh, we'll see you on our way to Tennessee. See how this thing pulls, see how it runs, see how it sounds. I think it's gonna be awesome. I love you guys, I'll see you later.